Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a collaboration today with Jen M Broke Girl Makeup and Lynette McGee. And we are doing a hair collaboration where we are going to show you guys how we use our three barrel waver. And mine is the Revlon one. I want to say all three of us have the same one. I think I know Lynette has this has this one. I'm not sure about Jen. I think so though. She, Jen has short hair. Lynette has super long hair and my hair goes down past my bra strap so but I have like some shorter layers and stuff in mine not short short but yeah you get my drift what you need for this at least what I need for this is this I turned mine on high and it's I filmed another video before this and it's been sitting there getting warm since and then a clip and Here's my two hairsprays. One, the pink one right here, I think you can see it, is a spritz, and the other one is an aerosol type hairspray, and they're both by Redken. Hot Sets 22 and Forceful 23. This, I washed my hair yesterday afternoon, so I, and I haven't put nothing on it, so I straightened it, that's about it, but yeah, go ahead and get started. Uh, first, what I do, because I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna fast forward through some of this sectioning just right at my ears. There that is. Split in half. The longer you leave it on there, you could always take your brush, brush through if need be. Okay, take your hair, and I right, hopefully this is catching it. Can you see that? Part of like it goes under like that. What I like to do, I still like I like to hold on to it. And there that is. Now what I do, see how there's two humps? I take and put it right on that last hump. So it leaves no crease. Or no adult no double hump back. Here is my first little layer. I don't really break it apart or anything like that. Then I'm going ahead and do the second. This open, here's what it looks like when it's open. Two on the bottom and then the one like bar on top. Can you guys see it better that way? I haven't even been counting. Has anybody else been counting? Okay, there's that. Then. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The longer you leave it on, the more definition you will have with the wave. Usually on the bottom, like bottom layers, I don't do too definitioned because all the other hair is just going to sit right on top of it. Right there, that is. Here I am with the second layer. You could spritz if you want to, but I'm not going to. If you guys want to see someone with really long hair, go check out Lynette's channel. If you want to see someone with short hair, check out Jen's channel and see how they use it. Here that is. I'm going to see the second little bump here. I'm going to take that first bar and slip under it. There you go. That way it does not prevent a double-double instead of a wave. Does that make sense? Because a lot of times when I see people use these or try to use these, that's their problem. They just go right here and do it and leave like a double hump. Instead, just slide it right there on top of the one you have. This, I think with so someone with short hair, it would take super short time. Whereas some of the long hair, you have to go down, like do this, all the way down the hair strand so it can be a little wee, definitely not something to do with with longer hair sorry if you hear the vacuum I don't know why he's sweeping if you have longer hair it's not something that you could do to, at least not for me to get right out the door 
this is kind of like special occasion hair. All right, there's that. I'm gonna do the rest of my hair and I'll be back. Up another layer, do the same old, same old. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. The thinner the section you make, the also the better wave you make. And I've started making videos for my 14 days of Valentine's Day, or Valent 14 days of Valentine's. And my goal is to do 14 looks that you guys could wear, or anybody could wear. Because I want to do some funky ones, I want to do some normal ones, subtle ones, like vampy ones. We'll see what, we'll see what I come up with. But if you guys want to see, see something, like a certain palette or something, if I have it. Because my goal is to use a different palette each time. I'm going to get to the ends, I put my finger in the curve, just go down, see, there you go, and to get, well, and this was something I was going to show on, can, or on the top layer, but you can do it this layer too, hold your hair up instead of out, hold it up and out, yeah that makes sense, up and out, so you can get more volume this way. I did not film a look, or yeah, I did not film a tutorial on this look because I used a mixture of three different things Naked 3, ColourPop, and Pro 1, or Rock Pro 1. Because with the 14 days of Valentine's, my goal is to use, I think I just said this, a different palette or brand or something for each look. Whereas, like, if I used Sugar Pill or something, I have the loose shadows, I would, like, I'd actually kind of have to use something else with a Sugar Pill shadow. I'm going to keep going the same way because, if not, it kind of messes up the wave to it. I don't know if I can, getting this on camera even. I'm looking at my mirror to try to make sure I got this here. Okay, I have to move it, and I know it's going to mess it up a little, because my arms are so short. Okay, let's see here. It looks all jacked up right this second, but once I put it down, it won't be as bad. <laughs> Totally missed part, missed part of that. Darn it, why aren't you going in? There we go. Alright, I will show you what this one looks like and then finish up this section or this row. See, that one was not as tight. This one I'm not a fan of. Dang. Here I am so far. I haven't really broken anything up. I've kind of just moved it around and last but not least the top layer and I'll show you how I do my bangs also because this is something you can do to the bangs not do the bangs totally totally up to you guys so brush this bad boy rip my hair out okay take a section here in the back I'm gonna clip this over here to the side Clipping it is a lot easier than trying to find where you left the hair. Another thing, like if you guys are wanting like the crispy kind of look with this, you could always spritz it with a spritz hairspray before you do it. Okay, just the same, put it through. Okay. See that? Perfect. 
wave there for what we just done. So, what are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? Mind you, I'm going to ask this probably in every single of my video that I hate for my, my tutorials for my 14 days of Valentine's. I have to say, um, if you are here from Jen or Lynette's channel, thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you like what you see and hang out for a while. And of course, when I'm doing this on camera, it's not doing it exactly like how I normally, it doesn't lay normal. Does that make sense? Right there that is. If you guys own one of these barrel, three barrel curling irons at home, let me know how long does it take for you guys to do a whole head, if you guys even use it, if you know how to use it, is it your go-to? Oh, I jacked that up right there. Go back in here. Maybe. There we go. Last but not least, this part of long hair. So do the same. I mean, here if you wanted, you could make them all start going this way. I'm gonna save some time and do it back. Tell you what, when I get to this top layer, my arms hurt. <laughs> I just want to give up. Okay. Let it cool down for a second. I'm going to take a little bit of hairspray here. Maybe open it up. What it looks like with the bangs. Get some big hair here. If I would have made it all go this way, it could also have a different effect that way. Of the way it looks, like a different look. Here's with the bangs straight. Let me know if you guys like it with the bangs straight. I do prefer it with the bangs straight. If I want my bangs out of my face, I do it this way. And I only suggest this if you have like bangs long enough to do this. You don't want to burn yourself. Let's see here. Like that. Do it straight across. That would be funny. Alright, again, as I've repeated myself however many times throughout this video, if you want to see super 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 long hair with this done I think hers is basically the same length all over go check out Lynette's channel and if you want to see short hair like barely ponytail short go check out Jen's channel I will have both of their channels linked down below and if you're not subscribed to them which I think everyone that is subscribed to me is subscribed to them but if not hit their subscribe button let them know I sent you over all right my last and final strip here ow mm. about got it barely it was warm <laughs> yes hair dressers hair stylists we burn ourselves time to time. That last part 
Let's see here if I can do it. There we go. Yes, I will. Oh, I meant out. Heck yeah. Okay. Here is this. You could spice, like, do that, and bam. I, I'm not a fan of that. So I'm going to take a bobby pin here. And what I normally t do when I do this, unless I, like, I can hairspray over and go for, this reminds me of, like, the 80s doing something like that. Could be completely wrong. But take my bang area and pin over like that. I like that a lot. One more hairspray. Okay, let me know if you guys like the bangs straight or the bangs back like this. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see more head hair, more hair tutorials. Let me know what kind down below and give me some ideas for looks to do for 14 days of Valentine's. So far I have used the Naked 3 palette. That's the only look that I've done so far. Yeah, that is it. Don't forget to go check out the other girls' channels. I'll leave them in the or in yeah the description box. And that is it. You all have a wonderful, fantastic weekend. Bye, guys.